Hey, welcome back to Coin Chronicles. This is Bryce. I hope you are doing well. Today we will take a look at the history of the 1890s from 1890 to 1899. We will also take a look at some coins from each of these years. This will include eight Morgan silver dollars, one Colombian exposition commemorative half dollar, and one Indian head cent. We will look at each coin and the important details such as mintage, grading, and inflationary value or purchasing power of the time. First, we will cover the history of the year 1890. In 1890, Chicago is selected to host the Columbian Exposition, or the World's Fair. The Cherry Creek Campaign occurs in Arizona Territory. A deadly tornado struck Louisville, Kentucky, killing 76 people. The National Woman's Suffrage Association is established, and the Sherman Antitrust Law becomes law. Idaho and Wyoming become the 43rd and 44th states. The Sea Wing disaster occurs due to a storm on Lake Pepin in Minnesota, killing 98 people. Sequoia and Yosemite National Parks are officially created. The Daughters of the American Revolution is founded in Washington, D.C., Wounded Knee Massacre kills 153 Lakota, Sioux, and 25 troops. The stop sign, the tabulating machine, shredded wheat, and the smoke detector are invented. And the Christmas Carol, Star of the East, was written and composed. Now let's take a look at the 1890 Morgan Silver Dollar. The 1890 Morgan Silver Dollar was minted in Philadelphia with a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. It has a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 16,802,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1890 is $33.34, and the numismatic values range from $42 in good condition to $1,116 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now we will take a look at the 1890 Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1890 Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that the luster on the coin is very beautiful, and it has a, a wonderful shine to it. On the obverse side of this coin, there's very few scratches on it, and it, it uh, does not affect the details much. And now as we turn the coin over to the reverse, we notice that the uh, details on the eagle's wings and the breast feathers are very fine, and there's a similar luster to the front on the backdrop of the coin as well. So if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1891. In 1891, the Mammoth Mine Disaster occurs in Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania, killing 109 people. Lilia Kalani is proclaimed Queen of Hawaii. The International Copyright Act of 1891 is passed by Congress. The Shoshone National Forest in Wyoming is established as first U.S. National Forest. In New Orleans, a lynch mob storms Old Parish Prison, lynching 11 Italians. The Wrigley Company is founded in Chicago. The Music Hall in New York City, known as Carnegie Hall, has its grand opening. The universities, California Institute of Technology and Stanford University are established. The Ferris wheel, Tesla coil, rotary dial, and Schrader valve are invented. The Laughing Song, recorded by George W. Johnson, becomes popular for three months in 1891. Now let's take a look at the 1891 O Morgan Silver Dollar. The 1891 O Morgan Silver Dollar was minted in New Orleans with a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. It has a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 7,954,529. Uh, 
its inflation value for the year 1891 is $33.34, and the numismatic values range from $42 in good condition up to $4,623 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's look at the 1891 O Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we look at this 1891 Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that uh, it has seen somewhere in the past as there are some scratches on the obverse side, especially on the face of the Liberty. We can see some, uh, some fairly deep scratches. Um, we notice that uh, there's some wear on the hat and the hair. Now as we turn the coin over to the reverse, we can see that there's definitely wear on the breast feathers of the eagle. And uh, there's wear on the wings as well. But everything else is the main details, like the words are very clear. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of uh, very fine condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1892. In 1892, Ellis Island begins receiving immigrants to the U.S. Abraham Lincoln's birthday is declared a national public holiday in the U.S. The 7.1 to 7.2 Laguna Salada earthquake shakes Southern California and Mexico. The Johnson County War breaks out between small farmers and large ranchers in Wyoming, killing 15 to 38 people. The 6.4 Vacaville Winters earthquake shakes North Bay of California, killing one person. The Sierra Club is organized by John Muir in San Francisco, California. The homestead strike between striking workers and private security agents in Homestead, Pennsylvania occurs, killing up to 15 people. Grover Cleveland is elected U.S. President for second non-consecutive term. And the bottle cap, the dimmer, the padded bicycle seat, and the internal combustion tractor are invented. The song After the Ball is written by Charles K. Harris, selling over two million copies of sheet music. Now let's take a look at the 1892 O. Morgan Silver Dollar. The 1892 O. Morgan Silver Dollar was minted in New Orleans and has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. It has a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 2,744,000. And its inflationary value for the year 1892 is $33.34. Its numismatic values range from $47 in good condition up to $3,584 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a look at the 1892 O Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we look at this 1892 O Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it looks like it uh, has seen some wear in the past. In fact, it, it looks like it's possible that it may have been cleaned. Um, maybe some of the toning may have been removed actually. But um, the details are still clear on the obverse side and uh, the words and the fine details, some of them are still there. Now as we turn to the reverse we can see that the breast feathers have been worn down but the wings, a lot of the details are still there on the wings and there's just a very very slight luster in the backdrop and uh, the words are still there. Now if I were to grade this coin I would give it a grade of fine condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1893. In the year 1893, Grover Cleveland is sworn in as the 24th U.S. President. The U.S. Marines overthrows the government of Queen Lily Okolani of Hawaii. The 1893 World's Fair or Columbian Exposition opens to the public in Chicago, Illinois. The Panic of 1893 occurred, which was a crash on the New York Stock Exchange that started a depression. 
Edison's kinetoscope is first demonstrated in public. The front part of Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. collapses, killing 22 people. A deadly tornado hits Pomeroy, Iowa, killing 71 people. The Sea Islands hurricane hits Savannah, Georgia, Charleston, South Carolina, and Sea Islands, killing 1,000 to 2,000 people. The World Parliament of Religions opens in Chicago. The zipper, the spectroheliograph, and pinking shares are invented. And the song, The Liberty Bell, is written by John Philip Sousa. Now let's take a look at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition Half Dollar. It was minted in Philadelphia without any mint mark. The size is 30.61 millimeters and the weight is 12.5 grams. The composition is 90% silver and 10% copper and its designer was Olin Levi Warner with a mintage of 1,550,405. Its inflationary value for the year 1893 is sixteen dollars and eighty five cents and the numismatic values range from fifteen dollars in good condition up to six hundred and fifty dollars in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition now let's take a look at the eighteen ninety three world's columbian exposition half dollar for my collection so as we look at this eighteen ninety three world's columbian exposition half dollar we can see that there is somewhere on this obverse side of the coin, as we look at the hair when the light hits it, there is some pretty fair wear on that on there. Um, and there is some light scratches as well on the front, but the words and the rim and the outlines are all still quite visible. Now as we turn the coin over to the reverse side, we can see that the outlines of the ship are all still there and uh, even some of the finer details on the ship are are remaining and the outlines on the globes and the finer details as well are still there um, the rim and the words are all still there as well if i were to grade this coin i would give it a grade of extremely fine condition now we will cover the history of the year 1894 in the year 1894, the first motion picture film was patented by William Kennedy Dixon. Milton S. Hershey establishes the Hershey Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and Coca-Cola is sold in bottles for the first time. The Pullman strike results in the deaths of about 70 people. The Great Hinckley Fire in Hinckley, Minnesota kills more than 450 people. In New York City, 12,000 tailors strike against sweatshops' working conditions. The standometer, the mousetrap, and the medical glove are invented. And the song, I've Been Working on the Railroad, is written, inspired by Franz von Soup. Now let's take a look at the 1894 O. Morgan Silver Dollar. It was minted in New Orleans and has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. It has a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 1723000 Its inflationary value for the year 1894 is $35.27. It has a numismatic value that ranges from $59 in good condition up to $47,156 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a look at the 1894 O. Morgan Silver Dollar for my collection. So as we look at this 1894 O. Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it does have quite a bit of wear. In fact, it looks like it may have been cleaned in the past as we look at this obverse side. There are some fairly deep scratches on the face of this coin, um, and the major details and the minor details are both very, quite worn down, but there is still somewhat of an outline. Now as we turn the coin over to the reverse side, we see similar condition to the obverse side, as there is still an outline, but the 
finer details um, and even some of the major details have been worn down. Uh, ultimately it uh, has a lot of scratches but um, if I were to grade this coin I would give it a grade of good condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1895. In the year 1895, the Henry Debs Supreme Court case decided that the federal government has the right to regulate interstate commerce. And the lyrics for America the Beautiful are first published by Catherine Lee Bates. Booker T. Washington delivers the Atlanta Compromise Speech, and the USS Indiana was the first battleship in the U.S. Navy to be commissioned. Oscar Hammerstein opens the Olympia Theater, the first theater to be built in New York City Times Square. The first automobile race in history is sponsored by the Chicago Times-Herald. Coverage sparks U.S. interest in the automobile. The clipless pedal and volleyball are invented. And the song King Cotton by John Philip Sousa and America the Beautiful by Catherine Lee Bates are both written. Now let's take a look at the 1895 Indian Head Scent. It has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer was James B. Longacre. Its mintage is 38,341,574. And its inflation value for the year 1895 is $0.36. Cents. The numismatic values range from $3 in good condition to $65 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1895 Indian Head scent from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1895 Indian Head scent, we can see that it does certainly has uh, quite a bit of wear, as there's a pretty major gouge uh, near the tiara on the face, on the head of, of the Liberty, and there's a major, another major gouge uh, near the eye. And there's quite a bit of wear on some of the major details on the obverse side of this coin. Now as we flip the coin over to the reverse, we can see that there is quite a bit of wear on the words, the one cent, as some of it has been worn down. And uh, as well as the on the shield and on the wreath. Uh, ultimately, as we look at this, we can probably say that it has a condition of very good condition. Now we will look at the history of the year 1896. In 1896, Utah is admitted as the 45th U.S. state. In the Supreme Court case Plessy v. Ferguson, the Supreme Court introduced the separate but equal doctrine and upheld racial segregation. Twelve industrial stocks are chosen to form the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The 1896 St. Louis, East St. Louis tornado occurred being the costliest and third deadliest tornado in U.S. history, killing over 255 people. The Ford Quadricycle was the first Ford vehicle ever developed. The twin shaft disaster was an explosion at Newton Coal Company in Pittston City, Pennsylvania, resulting in a cave in killing 58 coal miners. In the presidential election of 1896, William McKinley defeats William Jennings Bryan. The famous march, Stars and Stripes Forever, is written by John Philip Sousa. Now let's take a look at the 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar. It has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is George T. Morgan, and its mintage is 9,976,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1896 is $36.11. The numismatic values range from $42 in good condition up to $269 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. 
Now let's take a closer look at the 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1896 Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it certainly has some uh, wear on it as there are scratches on the head of the Liberty and um, it appears that there's some gouges in the obverse side and there are some dents on the rim as well as some scratches on the backdrop. Uh, there is some pretty good wear on the all over the face of the coin. Now as we turn to the reverse side we can see that the uh, wings have been worn down as well as the breast feathers and uh, the wreath. However the outline is still clear uh, and the words are still clear and the rim has been dented. If I were to grade this coin I would give it a grade of a very good to fine condition. Now we will look at the history of the year 1897. In the year 1897 the United States Copyright Office is established as a department in the Library of Congress. William McKinley is sworn in as the 25th President of the United States. The first Boston Marathon is run with 15 men competing. And the Klondike Gold Rush begins when the first successful prospectors arrive in Seattle. The Boston subway opens, becoming the first underground metro in North America. And the Latimer Massacre occurs when a sheriff's posse kills more than 19 unarmed immigrant miners in Pennsylvania. The Library of Congress building in Washington, D.C. is opened. And Cotton Candy, the muffler, the tapered roller bearing, the ice cream scoop, the charcoal briquette, and Billard's cue chalk are invented. Also, the song Louisiana Rag is composed by Theodore H. H. Northrup. Now let's take a look at the 1897 Morgan Silver Dollar. It has a size of 38.1 millimeters, a weight of 26.73 grams, and a composition of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan, and its mintage is 2822000 Its inflationary value for the year 1897 is thirty six dollars and fifty five cents. Its numismatic value ranges from forty two dollars in good condition up to three hundred and eighty seven dollars in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a look at the eighteen ninety seven Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we look at this eighteen ninety seven Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that this one is in uh, pretty good shape. Um, it has a, a beautiful toning to it and uh, quite an amazing luster as well. And the details are, are very clear as you look on the head, the leaves, the flowers, and the uh, hair. Um, and all of the words and the rim is all uh, quite detailed still. Uh, and as we turn uh, the coin over to the reverse, we can see that the eagle has a lot of its uh, features still there. It still remains, such as the uh, wings and the breast feathers. The wreath is still there, and there's a luster just as the front. Now, as we, if we were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of extremely fine condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1898. In 1898, the USS Maine explodes and sinks in Havana Harbor, Cuba, killing 266 men sank by a mine from Spain. President McKinley signs a joint resolution with Cuba, declaring war against Spain, beginning the Spanish-American War. The U.S. Navy begins a blockade of Cuban ports and catches a merchant ship. The bombardment of San Juan is the first major battle of the Puerto Rico campaign. The Trans-Mississippi Exposition World's Fair opens in Omaha, Nebraska. The U.S. invasion of Puerto Rico begins with landing at Guanica Bay, and hostilities end between American and Spanish forces in Cuba. 
The Treaty of Paris is signed, ending the war. Candy Corn, the remote control, the semi-automatic machine gun, and the semi-truck are invented. And the song, My Old New Hampshire Home, is written and composed. Now let's take a look at the 1898 S Morgan Silver Dollar. It was minted in San Francisco and has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is George T. Morgan, and its mintage is 4,102,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1898 is $36.55. The numismatic values range from $47 in good condition to $2,462 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a look at the 1898 S. Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. Now as we take a look at this 1898 S. Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it does have some uh, pretty major wear all over the uh, obverse side of the coin. There is some undesirable toning on that side, on the left side. And um, we can see that there's uh, pretty, a lot of wear uh, with only uh, the outline of the head on this side. However, there are uh, still the words and the date visible. Now, as we turn to the reverse side, we can see similar condition as the eagle's feathers and breast feathers and the wings are all worn down heavily. However, the S mint mark, the words, and a little bit of the rim is still visible. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about good to good condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1899. In 1899, Queens and Staten Island merge with New York City. The United States takes possession of Wake Island. As a result of the Treaty of Paris, the U.S. receives the Philippines, Guam, and Puerto Rico as territories. The Philippine-American War begins as hostilities break out in Manila. Voting machines are approved by the U.S. Congress for use in federal elections. Mount Rainier National Park and Tahoe National Forest are established. A tornado in New Richmond, Wisconsin kills 117 people and injures more than 200. The Bronx Zoo opens in New York City. The 6.7 magnitude San Jacinto earthquake shakes Southern California causing six deaths. And the aircraft wing warping and the flash lamp is invented. Also the famous ragtime song Maple Leaf Rag is composed by Scott Joplin. Now let's take a look at the 1899 O. Morgan Silver Dollar. It was minted in New Orleans and has a size of 38.1 millimeters and a weight of 26.73 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer was George T. Morgan. Its mintage is 12,290,000 and its inflationary value for the year 1899 is $36.55. Its numismatic value ranges from $42 in good condition to $255 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now let's take a closer look at the 1899 O Morgan Silver Dollar from my collection. So as we take a look at this 1899 O Morgan Silver Dollar, we can see that it is in uh, pretty good shape. Um, there are some minor uh, scratches and slight gouging on the uh, head of this, uh, on the obverse side of the coin. And um, some of the finer details, such as on the flowers and leaves, have been worn down. But ultimately, there is uh, a nice, kind of a nice toning and a little bit of luster to the obverse side. Now, as we uh, turn the coin over to the uh, reverse side, we can see that the, the eagle has, uh, the wings on the eagle are, are still, have a lot of clarity and detail to them. And there's luster on the back of this coin. 
the words and the wreath, everything is visible. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Keep on collecting and have a great day.